Hello everyone, my name is Joshua, and I'll be going over day 5 arrow functions, 10 days of JavaScript. So we're going to practice using arrow functions. What arrow functions are, um, I'll pull up the resource given from HackerRank to express how to calculate certain values. Oh, pardon me. You could use it to, um, so you could use, it's another way of expressing function. For example, instead of right here, let me look, go down right here. Instead of just put making a function like this, function modify, it has a more readable way of doing it. And see, there's more concise ways of implementing this. You could add a parameter, single parameter, multi-parameters. This one right here, this arrow function, is telling you what you want to execute based on that input parameter. And then you could either A, it could return a value, or you could re execute a certain behavior that you want. Here, you could go to this resource. There's great documentation on like basically what error functions are used in best case scenarios. In our case scenario, if you go right here, what we what our task is that we want to execute um, a function that will transform this array full of numbers, um, go through each and every one of them, and then based on whether it's an even value or an odd value, we will modify that one. So the error function in our case will help us find a way to modify or transform this array of numbers. So let's begin right here. Here's an example. Here's the input array. The output array will be this one right here. So let's see. So first I want to return now nums. Now one thing cool about JavaScript arrays is that I think there's a certain set of methods that you can implement with these arrays. There's reduce and then the one that we're going to use is called a map method. Now the map method, what it does is that it will go through each element and, and we will perform some certain action on it, but this, whatever value it has at the end, that will be the new value for that. It will return that new value for that specific, that respective index in that array. And what it's calling for is a callback function. And the best way to implement this callback function is with an arrow function. Now to do that, I'm going to, let's see right here, map. Now, now you can see right here, first I put, what you see, as it goes through each element, it will be represented by this element right here, as you see right there, element equals, I'm going to add the, the, the arrow function. First I determine the if else condition for an even or an odd. To do that, I do element modulus of two is equal, equal to zero. Now what a modulus is, it's almost like division, except instead of taking the value after you divide it, you take what is the remainder after you divide it by a whole number. So usually when an odd number is divided by, is modulated by two, usually it has a leftover at least one, and it will never equal to zero. Whereas if the element is mod, if its element's an even number and is modulated by two, it would have no remainders at all. Therefore, it's going to be equal to zero. So we deal with that one. Now I'm going to use this question mark right here, and then I'm going to use this colon right here. So what I'm doing is I created a ternary ternary expression and ternary is basically like a shorter version to implement an if else condition so instead of doing like for example if da 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 this else da 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 this condition right here is really this this modulus um, express it's going to be evaluated by this modulus expression right here and then this ternary um, this this first part right here if true if this L, if this turns out to be true if it is an even we could return a value in this if part of this condition right here. Else, if it's false, we return a value based on what happens right there. So if it is true, um, we want to make return an element in that position of its respective index of the array. We want to return element times two. Now, one thing good about this callback function, I don't have to directly write the word return. As a matter of fact, if uh, as long as I don't put the curly braces in, um, I and it's within this one line of code, I can just leave it as it is, and it'll, it will by default return the value that is evaluated at the end of this expression, this whole expression right here. So element times two, it'll return that one, and if it's if it's odd, I return element times three. There you go. So what I'm doing right here, but first let's run this to see if it works. Sweet. Now, if I submit my code, it should pass. Hey, awesome. That's pretty good. All right, cool. Now, a quick summary. I want to return. I want to modify the array. Um, so, so to modify each element of the array, I use the map method, and it'll go to each element 
and return a different element based on the if-else condition. The if-else condition is portrayed by this ternary expression. This question mark means that um, preceding th these preceding values right here, if these if this is true, it will return a value or yeah, return a value that is true at this portion right here before the colon, and it will return if this is false. It will, it will return the the calculation after the um, the colon. And this callback function um, in mapping, when you map a certain element, you perform you form a you form a, a function for each element. In this case, um, as we iterate, the, the input parameter of this map function is each element of the array. So it goes at one at a time. It's represented by this lm right here. And then since there's no curly brackets, we're returning a value that is executed after this whole expression is um, executed. Um, after this whole expression has been um, calculated by this whole thing right here. So this element, this input parameter, is going to transform into this output value right here. Now, <laughs> It's been a while since I've been giving a tutorial, so if you got if this doesn't make sense, please ask below in the comments. I'll be happy to clarify and pin it to the top. Um, but if you like this content and it makes sense, please like and subscribe. And if you do, I'm going to teleport right behind you and give you a high five. Um, so, but before you like and subscribe, be sure that you know there's nothing awkward in the setting there because. I don't want to go and give you a high five and end up eating a bunch of Cheetos or something like that, and it'd be kind of weird. I hate touching people's hands after they ate a cheesy Cheeto. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Goodbye, guys.